The Piltdown Man Fossil Hoax, 1912 to 1953, Sussex, England. They said it was the missing link, a fossil so extraordinary, so perfectly timed, that it promised to rewrite the human story forever. But beneath the soil of Sussex, England, something far stranger than evolution was about to unfold. It began in 1912, on a mist-damp morning near the quiet village of Piltdown. Amateur archaeologist Charles Dawson claimed he had found fragments of an ancient skull, thick, heavy, unmistakably human. This, he whispered to colleagues, could change everything. And for a moment, it did. Scientists gathered around the pieces as if witnessing history being rewritten in real time. The skull looked human, but the jaw, massive, ape-like, suggested a creature halfway between worlds. Newspapers exploded with headlines. Museums prepared new exhibits. Britain celebrated its very own evolutionary breakthrough. But in the excitement, one question lingered like a shadow behind a lantern flame. Why did this fossil feel too perfect? Years passed. Interests swelled, then settled into uneasy acceptance. But every so often, a new scientist, often young, often fearless, would examine the bones and whisper, something isn't right. The skull and jaw seemed to age differently. The teeth looked filed, and deeper still, a quiet suspicion began to hum beneath the surface of scientific pride. Had the world rushed too quickly to believe? By the 1940s, new dating methods emerged, chemical tests capable of seeing through time with merciless clarity. And when the Piltdown fossils were finally put under this new scrutiny, the results hit like a thunderclap. The bones weren't ancient. They weren't even from the same creature. The skull belonged to a medieval human. The jaw came from an orangutan. And the teeth, filed down by human hands to look ancient. A masterpiece of deception, a scientific embarrassment, and a mystery. The investigation roared back to life. Who had done it? Dawson, the ambitious amateur? A jealous colleague? A prankster with uncanny skill? A master forger whose true identity may never be known? Dozens of theories surfaced, motives tangled, accusations flew, but no culprit was ever definitively named. The Piltdown Man became something more than a hoax. It became a warning, a reminder that even the brightest minds can be blinded by what they want to see. Today, the Piltdown Man stands as one of history's most infamous scientific forgeries, not because it fooled the world, but because it taught the world to question with sharper eyes, humbler hearts, and a little more skepticism. Because truth, real truth, never fears investigation. If you enjoyed this story, please like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.